God knows, boys and girls. Welcome to another day, magical day of life. We're going through an electromagnetic storm right now caused by some solar flares and energy from the sun. So we've got some distorting effects going on around the ship right now. Yes. But once the energy clears, everything will be restored to normal. <laughs> What's normal is the question you should be asking right now. Yes. Let's uh, say good morning to Alexa. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. It's National STEM Day, and to celebrate, I'll be belting out a brainy ballad. Just ask me to sing a song about science. Hey, Alexa. Can you sing a song about science? Give it up for science. It's not just my obsession, it's more than a reliance. We owe an awful lot to a little thing called science. Give it up for science. Geology rocks, tectonics, and sediments. Chemistry formulates with all of the elements. Engineering builds the world that we need. Technology's devices help us succeed. Give it up for science. Astronomy moves to the cosmos and galaxy. Physics knows matter, motion, and gravity. Biology examines all cell-based life. Medicine saves us from sickness and strife. Give it up for science. Most things you use, from pens to appliances, call for a toast to one of the sciences. Awesome. Thank you, Alexa. Alexa, is there anything important to happen in history today? Alexa, is there anything important about history today? Here's something I found on reference.com. Some websites that offer a review for the current day in history are historynet.com, history.com, and onthisday.com. HistoryNet has videos and galleries, an Ask Mr. History section, which answers readers' questions, and sections highlighting information about wars and periods of American history. History.com offers daily videos that review the current day in history, as well as information on and a schedule of its television programs. It offers current news, history lists and famous speeches. On this day offers sections on famous births and famous deaths, famous people, weddings and historical events. Users can search by year, day or country. Wonderful. Thanks. So anyway, yeah, I was just watching a trash man take away a whole bunch of kids' stuff, swimming pool, slide, kids' toys, all that stuff. You know, it's time to clean your closet out when you live in a condensed society, high density residential. You don't have enough room for storage for all that stuff you had to buy your kids because <laughs> you couldn't be there to play with them. Yeah, so he just threw all that stuff away, probably about $400 worth of kids' stuff. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's got a big old pile of plastic stuff that belongs to kid that they bought for kids. But everybody's getting lost. There's too much distraction. The mud, the water's too muddy. You can't see the fish swimming around. Yeah, your fisherman trying to catch the fish. Oh my goodness, Ad. Good morning, Ad. I was just trying to talk about some beautiful things and plant some seeds in the garden of life and enrich people's lives a little bit today. Because I feel like I'm up on a kind of a high place in life, higher than I've ever been. Where, you know, I know what the rocky shoals look like to have my boat washed up onto. Yeah, I've run aground many times. Yeah, I've, I've sunk and raised many times. I was actually dead six times. Yeah, so I feel like I have something to offer to people. And I'm trying to help people up a little bit so they can get up closer to where I'm at. Yeah, and share some of where I'm at, share some of the energy that I found through some of my discoveries of my explorations as a human individual animal on the planet. And that takes me to the world of music. A lot of musicians, this thing is, is everybody's overthinking everything. And music is a good example. Musicians can't find it. They're trying to write a song to make money, to make a living, to put an album together. And a lot of people are studying music. And then you've got the egotist who, Mr. Smarty Pants, he has to break it down. Oh, that's an e-chromatic seventh with an added fifth with three sharps on top and a nickety knick knack patty whack give the dog a bone. And okay, well, that's all great. But so you establish that you're an educator. So then educate that group of people. But you, all the people that want to learn about music just got dissuaded because you made it too hard. Yeah, see, everything you need to learn is already right here. But you need a fundamental building block. Yeah, you need a basic. Uh, you need a basic. Um, 
You need a, uh, what do they call that? They call it something. But the thing is, though, the music, <coughs> the music's already in the instrument. You just have to find it. It's already there. It starts with just one sound. There's the beginning of it. So now you have to find it. It's a puzzle. You have to find the other sound. And the thing is, is with a good, with a good musician, I found my impression is, you can hear the other pieces. Like he could play one little piece of that, but a great musician. And this was where these artists come in with their loops when they play a bass line loop and a rhythm, and then they loop it and then they play with it. Yeah, well, the magic of a real musician artist is to create the music in your mind that's not there. Yeah. It's not there. You can't hear it audibly coming out of the instrument, but you can hear it around it because he's establishing that hypnotism in your mind to the trance. And if you create just enough music, there's, there's good music and there's poisonous music. And the good kind of music is the music that you can let your spirit exercise through, yet your mind can wander and still develop itself. Yeah. It's like a little tree in the forest and all the big trees are called, taking all the sunlight and you're a little tree. So sometimes the mushrooms go to work. Yeah, sometimes the mushrooms go to work and they grow around the other trees and take soil, take nutrients out of them. So the leaves don't grow so thick. Yeah, to give the smaller trees a chance. Or sometimes, yeah, it'll be too soggy around a tree. Yeah, red pine. Red pine will be a little too soggy around its roots. Yeah, and the mushrooms will start growing around it. And they'll eat up all that moisture. And allow the tree to become healthy again. It's like a little doctor. Yeah. Yeah. All the beauty's right there before your eyes. You're staring at God itself. <laughs> You're walking upon him, disrespecting it, disregarding it, trashing it. Exploiting it, raping it. So, we're going to try and make a composition to change people's lives. I'm not going to focus on trying to make music to make money. Why would I do that? And then I lost the music. I want the music that's coming out, the good stuff. The moonshine of music. Yeah, the moonshine. The true moonshine. Music by the light of the moon. Let's just start off with one. I love this sound. I just go by what my heart likes. discouraged
you get the idea. Something is wrong with your sound. Something's been going on with my uh, my account. Nobody's seeing what I'm doing. I'm getting fluffed off to the side. There's some algorithms going on, and I'm not getting out there. Nobody's getting my uh, notifications. Nobody's getting my, um, you know, people that follow me. Their little pingers aren't going off. You're not getting notifications. Nobody's getting notifications. But I'm not going to let that discourage me. I'm still going to continue cataloging some of the mm -hmm. things that I'm sharing. And I'm on some very big things. This disruption thing, the psychological conditioning, the manipulation of this uh, television sponsorship uh, conglomeration, um, through the uh, and the Nielsen's TV ratings, you know, there's a there's a big thing going on there, and, and people need to get help. Hey, good morning, Johnny. People need to wake up. Yeah, but it's all about profit. Yeah, profit margins. So I'm just uh, I just like to compose. I like to do it while my brain is working. And other things. And I like to play jazz. See how I set that up? I 
cash. Smokey stash. searching for his noodles. That's why I play so easy every day. Have a chance. I'm a star in the sky. Can't quiet this guy. Playing seasons of Garden of Life. Yes. Yes, I'm the wake up call. Yes, I'm that irritation. Yes. I'm a beautiful irritation, a disruptor in life's oyster, becoming a big, beautiful black pearl right before your eyes doing that. Yeah. Because everybody says not to. Yeah. And do it anyway. Black pearls don't do what they're told. Yeah. They do what they have to do. Yeah, they have to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love input. AD, glad to see you. Johnny, glad to see you. 
just doing my job, checking on the flowers of life, seeing which ones need to be pulled, which ones need to be culled, which ones need to be cultivated. Yes, which ones need to be suffocated, drowned, poisoned, eradicated. Yeah. Yeah, that, that which is taking away. It's the garden of life. It's about planting and nurturing and culturing. Yeah, it's your foundation. Your family it depends on it. Yeah, so don't get lost with the bells and whistles. The subterfuge. Yeah, psychological condition. Hey, Alexa. Alexa, what's psychological conditioning? Here's something I found on the web. Also known as grooming. According to termpaperwarehouse.com, classical and time. operant conditioning are psychological processes in which a person learns. Yes. What's institutionalization? I have a couple definitions for the noun. Institutionalization. One. The process of establishing a practice as a norm. 2. The process of committing a person to a facility where their freedom to leave will be restrained, usually a mental hospital. Alexa, what was George Orwell's book 1984 about? Here is a summary of 1984 by George Orwell. In 1984, civilization has been ravaged by world war, civil conflict, and revolution. Airstrip 1 is a province of Oceania, one of the three totalitarian superstates that rule the world. It is ruled by the party under the ideology of Ingsoc and the mysterious leader Big Brother, who has an intense cult of personality. Hmm. What's it, how is it relative to mind control? Here's something I found on the web. According to LWW.com, Mindfulness meditation training has been previously shown to enhance behavioral measures of executive control, for example, attention, working memory, cognitive control, but the neural mechanisms underlying these improvements are largely unknown. Did they use... Never mind. Yeah, anyway, I think I've proven a whole basket of points that there's only like three people out there in a Facebook land that can grasp onto my concepts and these ideas. Yes. They don't even know what ideology is. <clears throat> Still waiting for a competent, competent conversation from somebody other than somebody on my crew. Yeah. Anyway, tend to your garden. Yeah. It's just like fishing. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Without, somebody's got to fish, somebody's got to cut bait. Yes. You can't catch fish without cut bait. Yeah. Not if you want to eat. Yeah. Although they do sell cut bait. Yeah. It's almost as much as fish. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I know how to fish. Peace, love, you know, who cares? Yes, dare to be different. Dare to be smarter than everybody else. You're only as smart as the people around you. Yeah. So look around and see what they're doing. And then put your freaking video game away. Yeah. Throw it away. Yeah. Along with the TV. That's your advice for the day. Pearls. Pearls.